Okay, hello everyone. Bridget Air here with All About the Grace, and I'm going to try not to set myself on fire. I've actually almost done that a couple times already in setting up today, so I'm going to try not to do that. Um, uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, welcome to another edition of All About the Grace, and on this channel we talk about faith, culture, and media awareness, and I'm recording this on the third Sunday of Advent, which is why I'm wearing pink, and which is why we have our third candle the pink candle or the rose candle lit and the significance of that this is called Gaudete Sunday and Gaudete is a Latin word which means rejoice and the reason we're rejoicing is because we're getting really close to Christmas and the light of the world is going to come into Christmas and what's so cool about that and I just actually thought about that today is that as you light your candles it gets lighter so we're getting um close to that the significance is we're getting closer to when the light of the world jesus christ our savior entered the world so that's why the candles are lit and that's why i'm wearing pink today now today i want to oh i gotta thank all my subscribers i can't believe it i'm up over 200 the last time um in October, I was sharing with you that I just got over 100 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you do. It really helps me out a lot. It basically saves me a bunch of time in terms of pushing stuff out. Um, so that would be great if you could subscribe. And there's just a little button to click and then down below. And then also you want to click the little bell. And if you click the little bell, that will give you a notification every time I upload a video. And I usually upload on Mondays. So, um, I want to do a little scripture reflection with you today, and I want to use a method called Lexio Divina. And this is something that I, uh, it's a very old tradition in the Catholic Church, and basically what it is, is just reading scripture very slowly and allowing certain words or phrases to stick out. You read um, the scripture passage a couple times, and then there's a couple questions that you reflect on, and you can do this anytime with scripture. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my dog just knocked over, over my microphone. I need my camera crew out there to bring my microphone back. <laughs> All right, well, that'll give me a, a second to uh, get to the scripture reflection. Thank you, just set it right there. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put this over here, it's still on. Okay, my camera's still rolling over there too. All right, okay. Yeah, I've got this really awesome camera crew out there. All right. Well, today, um, okay, so I want to give you, I kind of just gave you the quick overview with Alexio Divina. Basically, you read the scripture passage slowly. Then you look at what sticks out in the passage, a word or a phrase or an image. And then after you read the passage, you take a few minutes of silent prayer to continue reflecting on the passage. And then you allow God and the Holy Spirit to speak to you about what that passage means, maybe in the Bible or in that scripture reading, and then how that applies to your life or what is God trying to tell you right now in this moment in your faith journey. And I've been actually doing that as I've been reading my scripture readings and it's, I don't do it every day, but it, it's really been cool to do so and i used to do that all the time when i like first after i had my conversion i would spend a lot more time in scripture and just reflecting but i've kind of gotten away from that so this has been really great in advent that um, the archdiocese of indianapolis put together this resource and i'll put a link um, to catholicradioindy.org which is where you can get this resource right on their home page and okay so i want to get started i'm going to use this Lexio Divina Method, I'm going to walk you through it and I'm going to do the actual scripture reflection for the third Sunday of Advent. But no matter when you're listening to this, actually this, this scripture reading kind of applies really anytime and this methodology you can use anytime. So that's what I hope you can take away from this. Okay, I'm going to do the opening prayer. I'm going to do the scripture reflection and then I'll kind of tell you kind of what I'm words what words are sticking out to me okay so in the name of the father son holy spirit amen come holy spirit renew my heart and mind prepare me for the coming of the lord during this advent season and most especially in this time of prayer with the living word amen in the name of the father son holy spirit amen okay so the scripture reading is from first 
I can't talk. The scripture reading is from 1 Thessalonians verse uh, chapter 5, verse 16 through 24. And it says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In all circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophetic utterances, test everything, retain what is good, refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfect, holy, and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will also accomplish it. Okay, so I've read this a couple times. I've already gone through this reflection before I did this. I'm doing this with you. But the first time I read this, and I will put the whole scripture verse up on the screen if I can, um, so you can kind of see it as we do this. The scripture, the scriptures that, that or the, the words that stuck out to me were rejoice always and pray without ceasing. But pray without ceasing is what came up first. Um, and then rejoice always. Those are the two in the order that kind of came up to me. And so the question is, what's the one thing that stands out to you from this passage? It can be a word or a phrase or a verse. So you can go ahead and look at that verse and, and see what stuck, sticks out to you. Okay, so and then it asks, why does it stand out? So for me, it was pray without ceasing. And to me, that says never give up, never give up on God, because we all have struggles, we all have trials, and I don't care who you are or what your, what your life is like, your life, you're going to have trials, and I can think of a bunch that I'm going through right now, and so when I read that, it's kind of, I feel like God telling me, don't give up, just keep praying, and, and keep having hope, which is that's kind of what the season's about. And then the other part of that, rejoice always, I kind of take away from that, that I we all have so many blessings and that we, we need to rejoice even when things aren't going great. So the two things that I got from that is rejoice always, it's, this is so appropriate because it's Gaudete Sunday with the pink candle, which means rejoice. So that's a great reminder. Rejoice always and never give up on God and keep praying because he is faithful. And then the last line of this, this scripture, it says, the one who calls you is faithful and he will also accomplish it. And to me, again, that just says to me that you can trust God. He is not going to let you down no matter what. And I could go into all sorts of stories. Maybe I'll do another video on that, on, on how God has come through for me in my life and how I've seen that in, in many other people's lives where they just didn't give up and they just kept praying and they kept trusting in God and they kept doing what God wanted them to do, whether it was working out or not. So, and there's tons of examples in, in the Bible. Okay, I'm looking here to see if there's anything else um, that I want to mention. Those okay, um, okay. So here's one of the, here's another one of the reflection questions. What does it mean to rejoice in all circumstances? Is it difficult? Is it a difficult task? Heck yeah! <laughs> um, and I guess to rejoice in all circumstances really means that it's easy to be thankful and rejoicing in your life or in your Christian walk when everything's just going great and peachy, but. You know, when things aren't going so well, maybe you've lost your job, maybe you're missing a loved one, um, maybe just things aren't working out the way you planned at work, or in your marriage, or with your family, or with your relatives. I mean, you could, there are so many areas where things could not be going well, but that's where it requires um, you to really live your Catholic faith and to live out your Christian faith and walk with Jesus, because you need to rejoice even when things aren't going well. And that is when it's really super difficult. And that's what requires faith and grace of God um, to do that. So that is what I wanted to share with you. I will put this resource, this 
Lexio Divina resource, uh, Catholic Radio Indy website where you can go to to get this resource. And, um, and then I have a previous video where I talk about other things, um, other resources in Advent, which this is one of them. And I also wanted to point out my Jesse tree, which is why I've got such a wide angle today is that I wanted to show you my Jesse tree. We actually got really behind. In fact, we forgot to start. Um, I don't know, I got busy and I, we didn't do it. So we kind of did a speed Jesse tree to get caught up for a couple weeks, which we're, we're good, we're good now. Um, but if you're um, on the link, on the link to this video, there's a resource there that you can print off a Jesse tree. So it's not too late to get, to, um, get in on that. That is the scripture readings that are the prophetic readings of the Old Testament that foreshadow the coming of Jesus and the Savior of the world. So that's all I have today, and I want to thank you so much for being here. Um, I pray for all my subscribers. If you have a prayer request that you would like to leave, I would love to pray for you. I try to get to the Adoration Chapel every day, and I try to get to Mass as often as possible daily is like my goal. Um, so I will take those prayer requests that you leave in the comments, or you can email me at allgrace365 at gmail.com. You can email me there or leave a comment. And I will take those prayer requests with me to Mass um, as I pray with my family. And um, when I go to the Adoration Chapel specifically, I, I really try to bring all those intentions of my subscribers. And I pray for you anyway, but if you have, if you have a, a specific request, um, please do leave it if you feel comfortable leaving it in a comment or you could just email me. All right, one well, more thing you. I forgot to mention uh, when, I, when I got started. I am, anybody that is local in the um, Indianapolis metro area is where I am from. And anyone locally, I have a lot of local people that watch this show and anybody that um, would like to get a copy of my book I would be happy. I have. Uh, I'd be happy to sign it and deliver it to you, um, if you'd like to get a book. This is honestly a great book for pretty much any age group. It, it can reach teens, um, young adults, millennials, um, fifty somethings, and even uh, those in um, like the retired or older category. This is really a how-to use digital media to evangelize. And in the book, I really share my experience in media, my background in theology, and bring that, um, and also what the church talks about as it relates to media and how we should use it to evangelize. I bring all those things together in addition with the new media and how to use digital media to disciple. So I've kind of been in this um, media and discipleship um, gig with God for about, um, gosh, 25, 30 years almost, which is hard to believe. You know, I, I crawled in here. Great book. Be happy to get you a signed copy if you're local and I'll deliver it to your door. Um, we're getting close to Christmas. We're just a couple weeks away. You can get it on Amazon really quick. Put a link to my book in the Amazon link below. It's a great gift. So think about it for yourself. And I am actually going to be giving a giveaway. I got to figure that out. Um, I want to give some books away too. So maybe if, if you leave a comment, I'll maybe send you a book. How about that? So, uh, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please do click subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And until next time, happy Advent. God, God bless. Bye-bye.